y'all. It is a little bit after four o'clock in the afternoon or evening. I say four o'clock starts the evening hours. That's just how I feel. It's how I've always felt. Felt like when the clock strikes four, evening begins. Anytime between 12 and four, afternoon, but four o'clock, evening, it's evening. I was about to start cooking supper, but I'm making the Sloppy Joes tonight and that only takes 20 minutes, maybe 25. And Titus isn't gonna be here for a couple more hours. I know at least an hour and a half. Jacob and Tyler went riding horses this afternoon. They're probably not gonna be home for at least another two. I told them to be home by dark and it doesn't get dark for two more hours, so. They might get here a little bit earlier. I haven't called them in the last little bit, so I'll call and check with them, but I know for sure Titus probably ain't gonna get here till at least six. So while we're waiting to cook, I'm gonna do a little to-do list because for one thing, I haven't done anything this afternoon. <laughs> Manly took a little bit of a later nap. He's actually still asleep right now. I still have dishes over here from lunch. And I just saw some kind of spill under the love seat, which I don't know how somebody spilled something under the love seat. But I'm gonna slide that back, sweep and mop under there real quick, and I might as well go ahead and do the couch too while I'm doing it. I'm not gonna rearrange, I promise. I am trying to think of how I do wanna rearrange when we do though, which will probably be a little closer to spring. When we start spring cleaning, we'll rearrange in here. But for now, I like everything where it is, especially the desk. I don't think I'll ever move the desk, I don't think. Never say never, but. What I don't love right now is we have nowhere to put this little side table really with the way everything is right now. So it's just kind of over there freestanding all alone because if we put it right here, it's, you know, we just have this little narrow space to walk through. So I like leaving the window area open, not having anything over there. It just feels more open and bright in here. Jake took my van earlier, so I hope I don't have to go anywhere because I cannot drive that truck. <laughs> stuff. I got the dishes done, laundry switched out, and another load started. Got the ones folded that I need to fold. I'm about to sweep under the couch in the love seat, but Sissy wants to make dessert for everybody tonight. Titus picked this out for her a couple of weeks ago. He saw it, and he knew that she would love it because it's just, you know, pink and sparkly. Got the little unicorn and everything on there. <laughs> he picked it out for her to make something in her Easy Bake Oven. So, it's a little donut mix, but you can also make donut holes. We're going to use this little mini muffin pan to make the little donut holes. It'll look, you know, probably like little muffins, but that'll be fine. This comes with the glaze mix and everything inside. She's also gonna make a little cake in her Easy Bake. Oh, that rhymes, little cakeies, but anyway. She's gonna make a little cake in that with her Easy Bake oven pan, and then she's gonna make the little donut hole slash muffins in the oven. All right, go ahead and dump that in.
All right, time to make the sloppy joes. I've got, I think a little over three pounds of ground beef in here. I had a two and a half pound pack and then I had some left over from another pack that was at least a pound, maybe a little more than a pound. So we're just gonna cook this with the onion until it's done. I use the Pioneer Woman Sloppy Joe recipe, but I kind of change it up. Like if I don't have something, you know, I've told y'all before, but I'll put her recipe down below. It's really good. I usually forget to get ground mustard, so I don't ever have that to put in here. Everything else I think I do put, but most of the time I forget about the ground mustard, so. I don't have that. I have before though just put a little squirt of brown mustard or stone ground mustard or even regular mustard one time and you know it's not the same but I'm gonna go ahead and get everything out. We need ketchup, Worcestershire sauce, we need chili powder, of course like I said the ground mustard but I don't have that so. Red pepper flakes, brown sugar, and salt and pepper. It's taking this a little bit longer this time because I have so much ground beef in here. Are you a horsey nanny? He's telling Cece to grab onto his tail, which is his shirt, but he's pretending it's his horsey tail. Hey, horsey! A chicken? A chicken. What? A chicken. <gasps> for the buns, we have brioche buns and just regular ones for those who don't like these. These are so good, y'all. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter on them and toast them in the oven for just a minute or two. We are almost ready to drain over here. Hey, it's a dog. 